Hello friends. Today we'll discuss how to add business days in any date in ServiceNow. This is the most common use case, but it's a very important. So for implementing this, we'll take one use case and use case is create one field named test in incident form and add three business days in incident created date and populate in test field means we'll need to create one test field their type their data type will be the date and whatever the current date is created the day when the incident is created we need to add three business days on that date and will populate into the test field so let's go to the instance and implement this so here just go to the incident okay yeah just click on one of the incident just create a new field I will I will using this form design maybe you can use use it the form layout you can create a field using that table as well so this is the field type date so I will drag it here and just click on setting and make their name maybe test or something else we can put let's say put due do only yes do only yes and the name should be u underscore do and save it now if we refresh this incident form we'll see one new field that is do so now we'll create a business rule that is before business rule when incident is created when any new incident is created that time we need to add the three business days in the incident created date and we'll populate that date in this due field right so just duplicate this tab and now go to the business rule business rule yes yeah now click on new yes and here just write uh, what you can say add adding three business or adding business days business days yes take the table that is incident now check on advanced now here click when before and when the new incident is created means on insertion of the record now go to the advanced now here just press enter and how many days we want to add so we need to add three days so we just store our days in one of the variable that is days then we need to get the, the incident created day so we'll get that uh, created equal to new client date time and we'll get current dot sys created underscore on yes then call duration create one more variable that is duration and here we'll calculate the duration so that new cloud duration so 1000 into means 1000 into 60 into 60 into 8 8 into this so here what we'll get we'll get the result in the form of milliseconds 
so that is thousand milliseconds into sec seconds into minute hours hours means eight hours why eight hours i have taken because generally eight working hours are there right a days days we are picking from this variable now now we need to call our schedule right so just create one more variable schedule glide schedule yes now just go to the schedule and under system schedule you will get the schedule and here this schedule will be there 8 to 5 weekday schedule and copy their sys id and just put it here and paste it yes now add the day where where due date equal to schedule dot add created it comma duration and whatever the result we'll get that we need to store our in our due field right so current dot u underscore due equal to due date yes now save it now we'll create new incident and let's see our business rule is working out properly or not so just take caller caller variable tutor write short description that will test and just save it and let's see what we are getting here we are getting nothing why show you underscore div let me check current dot u underscore div equal to underscore due date okay this created that will be correct duration that will be also correct schedule here we are calling was schedule schedule says id also here we perform the schedule oh we have done some mistake here yeah the variable mistake yes so if we just save it and now we'll create one more incident and let's see now this is testing one and save it now it's due date is empty let's check now yeah it's coming so today's date is 26 feb that is saturday and we are need to add the three business days right so now the next uh, business days will be 26 today so it will exclude the firm the monday tuesday and wednesday wednesday to the second of march so it's second of march is populating here and this is the logic we have written i hope you got got it and if you have any suggestion please write in the comment box